Welcome to the first edition of Glow Music Presents. I'm Abraham Medellin, and here's Shiny Shiny Black. The 14th annual Riverbend Film Festival is returning to downtown Goshen, Indiana, May 2nd through the 4th. The festival features more than 80 films, coffee talks, filmmaker panels, and workshops. Festival weekend and VIP passes are on sale now at riverbendfilmfest.com. Welcome to Glow Music Presents, and I'm Abraham Medellin. Today's spotlight is on Shiny Shiny Black, a band here right from Goshen. Nice to have you guys. Thank you. How did you guys get the name Shiny Shiny Black? Because it's a very unique name, especially having the double shiny in there. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, wow. To be honest, like, it's biblical for me. Like, um, 
uh, there was like this this like Bible verse about like you can make your bed in hell and you know God would still like be with you. So that's uh, that's kind of like where it came from, honestly. <laughs> Maybe not the answer you were expecting. No, that was that was so <laughs> in depth. I, I honestly, that is that was a great answer. Uh, along with that, so when you guys are like creating music, um, what are your biggest influences? Um. Well, it's first of all, it's pretty much Nate's pet project, but mm -hmm. some big influences are like Over the Rhine is one of my. They're like another Midwest uh, band. Yeah. And. With some good Mennonite roots. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That helps. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, uh, this I actually started the band kind of by myself, and then Amber joined later. So, um, um, but the acoustic instruments piece is yeah. definitely, like, part of your influence for sure. So, so otherwise, I'd still be playing speed metal. Yeah, that was another question I was going to ask. <laughs> uh, like growing up, what were the what were like the, the genres that you played before leading into the like solidified <laughs> three? Yes, <Yeah>, really. <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> it's gone completely. Yeah. Um, uh, I mean, I grew up playing drums in church, um, so um, there's actually Nick and I kind of have that in common. So um, and then it didn't take me too long before I started like heavy metal bands and like like I I'm old enough that like when speed metal and thrash were like the first gen, like I was into that. Um, so, um, yeah, I got like really into heavy music and then, um, kind of discovered that, well, okay. So there's this band Nirvana happened like when I was in high school and what happened was I was into this metal scene and all those guys like lost their jobs overnight when grunge hit. And like literally a lot of them just couldn't play anything else. And so they were like um, relegated to like old, like you're old now and you can't play anymore. And then there were other people I noticed that were more diverse in like their skill sets or their their mindsets towards like different genres. And so they mm -hmm. were able to make the transition and like, oh, it's just music. Like it doesn't really matter what style it is. Like it's just music. And so um, – I became really attached to that idea of like, as long as I stay open-minded about like the fundamentals of what music is, I can kind of stay, I have a longer life as an artist. What uh, influences or like what genres did you like create before um, joining the band? Um, I've really mostly stayed in sort of the folk rock vein. <laughs> I'm not quite as, I mean, I appreciate a lot of music, but, um, but the harmonies and vocals and even acapella stuff is stuff I had worked on kind of on my own but also grew up doing music um in church and school you know did all the like musicals and whatnot creative blocks how do you guys go about that individually as well creative blocks i generally speaking I, what i'll do is if i get into a rut um i honestly find a genre of music that i have not listened to and try to see okay well what can i do here just basically trying to s flip a switch and like try to be creative in another genre and um sometimes it's a day sometimes it's two or three months of of exploring you know different genres but when it when it clicks you know it's happening you know it's gonna happen it just takes time but um you know well sometimes it takes me more time i don't know about you guys but I know for me, I just, that's what I do to get through that. Not super inspiring, but I will say that I've, I've learned a lot about yodeling. Um, and that's really difficult to, to find a, you know, a nice beat to, but at the end of the day, I have a whole total appreciation for yodeling, people that do that professionally, you know, kudos. So I saw you guys had three songs uh, ready for us today. Mm -hmm. uh, we also noticed that two of them were from a 2004. 14 mm -hmm. album and then you have one that was 2018 what so like you want to dive into that and tell us a little bit about the choices um yeah one um well two of them were from our first first full-length record um and they're yeah basically i just tried to pick songs that were like like i want to keep it high energy for for this event like it's not gonna be like a big introspective like singer songwriter night you know so want to keep it fun keep it entertaining and and um um 
you know, kind of upbeat. Um, and, um, but also like still like there's stories in those songs. So, um, it's not like it's completely devoid of any, any meaning, but like, honestly, like I was thinking more about format and it's probably pretty like too much inside baseball, but you know, <laughs> that's, that's really, <laughs> really honestly, like what I was thinking about was like, Oh, how's this gonna, uh, uh, respect the audience of this particular, uh, thing the best. So any house shows planned? I know you guys did a few. Uh, we have some in the works, but they're not. But nothing that we can not, announce uh, yet. Announceable. Thank you very much for coming today. You guys are honestly great philosophers, and as well on top of that, you you guys are beautiful people and beautiful souls. Uh, when we come back, Shiny Shiny Black will perform two more songs for us. I'm getting my degree from the college named TV School of the Year three out of the last four years. It's not in Muncie or in Indianapolis. I attend Goshen College, and communication is just one of the 35 outstanding majors offered here. At GC, you will work with professionals and get your hands on the camera in your first semester on campus. How do I know that Goshen College was the best choice? Right after graduation, I start my first job, broadcasting professional baseball. Take the next step towards your career.
this falls on you You've nothing left to lose No one to fill your shoes No one to sing your blues If your mind will ache More than your heart can say Thank you for being here today. And this has been such a great experience for Globe Music Presents. Until next time, I'm Abraham Medellin.